what's up everyone welcome back to my channel today we are doing the annual black friday haul vlog kind of thing i don't really know if it's annual on my channel i did one last year which i will have linked down below if you want to go watch that so here's the 2020 rendition of this video. Black Friday obviously looked a little bit different this year given the circumstances of the world. We all know that. So I mostly ordered some stuff online, but I also did a little bit of in-person shopping. Safe, of course, wore my mask. Tried to stay as socially distant from people as possible. Sanitized, stayed safe, everything like that. So now I'm going to show you a haul of everything that I got. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you a short mini little vlog of my Black Friday experience. Like I said, I didn't go out shopping, so I couldn't do a full big vlog video, but I still recorded a short little thing for you guys, so there's that. Hi everyone! Happy Black Friday! I'm spending my Black Friday a little differently this year. I am shopping online from my bed. With COVID, I didn't really want to go out Black Friday shopping like crazy. Tomorrow, I'm still probably going to go out to a couple of places just because I wanted to check some stuff out in person, but that's why I'm going to do it tomorrow and I'm going to go when they first open to hopefully avoid the crowds, but I will vlog that tomorrow if I do that. But anyway, today is Black Friday and I'm sitting here in my bed, nice, comfy, cozy. Got my Christmas decorations and I'm ordering some stuff online. See, now this I could get down with because usually I go Black Friday shopping in person, but I got to wear my comfy clothes today and not get ready and I love this. Got some stuff from Zara here, got some Calvin Klein. Gonna check out now, I think. Rest in peace to my bank account. Hello everyone, today is Saturday and I'm doing some Black Saturday shopping, I guess you could call it. So I forgot to vlog the first place that I went to, but that place was Bath and Body Works. I just feel like they have better stuff in person than online and you can't like smell stuff online. So I went in person, it was very crowded, not ideal. Lots of old ladies taking their masks off to smell stuff, thinking that you need to take your mask off to smell it. I could smell everything just fine with my mask on, just saying. So that is why online shopping was the wave this year. But anyway, I went there, I did that, I kept my mask on and tried social distance as best I could and I got some stuff which you'll see in the haul part of this video and now I am here at Kohl's to try and shop for some Christmas presents for people. This is also kind of Karen central, anti-mask central, so I'm going to hope and pray that I stay safe here. Um, I kind of just want to be in and out pretty quick so let's go. Now that you've seen my Black Friday shopping experience, let's just get right into the haul. The first place I went to was Bath & Body Works. It would not be Black Friday without Bath & Body Works, honestly. I went here in person because it's kind of hard to smell stuff online. I still kept my mask on sniffing everything though, unlike some of the people in the store. But all good, I'm going to show you what I got from here. So Bath & Body Works had a lot of sales going on for different products. I'm looking at the receipt. So first I got some hand soaps because I needed some new ones for my bathroom. We ran out of the soap that we had, so I got some new ones. These were on sale for $3.25 each when they're usually $7.50 each, so that's pretty good. These are both holiday scents, but they don't smell super holiday-y. They could work for any time of the year. So this one is Sweater Weather, which is just super yummy, and then Frozen Lake, which is a really fresh kind of smell. I don't really know how to describe scents. If you want to know how they smell, just go to Bath & Body Works and smell them. Both the foaming soap, of course, because that's the best kind, so got those for my bathroom. I got a couple little random things. So I got a hand sanitizer to keep on my little hand sanitizer holder on my backpack for when I go back to school next semester because I didn't have one. Winter citrus wreath. Um, it's just like a fresh kind of Christmassy scent um, just to keep safe from COVID next semester. And then I got a hand cream in winter candy apple. This is my all time favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. It smells so good and I always get a hand cream every year. My hands get super dry in the winter. I actually had a coupon for a free item with $10 purchase, like a free body care item up to a certain price, so that applied to this, so I got this for free. And lastly, so I was never allowed to burn candles in my bedroom. My mom never let me, she just didn't trust me, but now that I'm an adult, I'm 19, 
she decided to let me burn candles and so i bought a candle this one is tis the season it is the perfect like christmasy smelling candle it smells so good i've already burned some of it it's just it literally smells like christmas in a candle all the three wick candles were ten dollars off the day that i went so i got this for 14.50 which is pretty good it's just so good go smell this candle if you want a christmasy candle this is it and then of course just to go along with that i got a candle holder because i needed one of these it's just i don't really love it um but it's just a simple little flowery leaf kind of sparkly design just pretty simple looks like that love the candle love burning it. it smells so good next place we have stuff from is old navy i actually went to old navy before black friday because they had their sales going the entire week they had 50 percent off pretty much everything in the store which is a pretty good deal so first i got this sweater you'll see it better in the try on clips but i feel like this is a perfect christmasy sweater without being overly christmasy if you know what i mean it's just kind of like a wintry, I don't even know how to describe what this design is, but it just looks wintry, just a soft gray knit sweater. It kind of has the balloon sleeve vibe going on, um, and I just think this will be perfect for like family Christmas events or Christmas Eve. We're not doing anything on Christmas Eve, but just dressing up for tradition. I just think it's super cute, and yeah, like I said, a Christmassy sweater without being overly Christmassy, which is perfect. Then I got this dress. Again, you'll be able to see it better in the try-on portion. But this is a little cheetah leopard kind of print. I never know what the name of it is exactly. It's short sleeves, it's a wrap dress, and it's also a midi length. So it goes to the middle of your calf-ish. I've been super into the midi length stuff lately, skirts, dresses, and I think it's so cute. This is just such a nice flowy dress, and I'm so excited to wear this as it gets a little warmer in the spring and summer. Or this would even be cute with like a leather jacket in the winter time. I think it's adorable. Now we're gonna get into some stuff that I ordered online. So we're gonna start with Calvin Klein. That rhymed. I just bought some new bralettes from them. Calvin Klein bralettes are my absolute favorite. They're so comfy, they're soft, they're good quality, they last a long time. They're just my favorite ones, but I can't rationalize spending $28, $35 on a bralette usually. That's just too expensive so i only ever buy them on black friday when they're on sale so calvin klein had 30 percent off all of their underwear so that included the bralettes that i got and then all orders over 50 dollars were an additional 30 percent off so my stuff ended up being about 60 percent off which means the bralettes were between 11 and 15 dollars which is much more reasonable than 28 to 36. so this is the first one it's just the plain black racerback kind of one i already have this one but just got another one so it's just the simple basic racer back with the band on the bottom super simple then i got that same black one but in a white color so again it's just the same design racer back with the little calvin band on the bottom i didn't have a white color so i decided to get this one then i got a little bit of a different one this is a triangle bralette so it still has the same band on the bottom but it's like a deep v which is good for if you wear like deep v-neck cut shirts it's got a little bit of padding in it and yeah i just thought this one was a little bit different than the ones i had but would still be a good staple just a simple black color and yeah again just perfect for everyday use i'm not going to be trying those on because there's some creepy people on the internet so next up i ordered some stuff online from zara zara actually did not have good sales they had 40 percent off select items and only one of the items that i ordered was on sale but this is some stuff i've been wanting for a while so i just decided to order it on black friday and throw it in this video first i got this little top this is a brownish beige tan ish kind of color ribbed turtleneck like midi length sleeve it goes to about your elbow i've been super into the tan beige color in the fall and winter and i think this is also a great layering piece for the winter time it's super thick and feels like really good quality and yeah i've just been super into this color and i think it's also great for transitioning into the spring into the fall whatever i think it's super cute and i'm so excited to wear it and then the next thing i got is a little set so it goes together so the first piece is this little bralette crop top kind of thing it's just gray super soft little bralette looking thing it's got some structured stitching and whatnot just super simple and cute and then this little cardigan it goes over top of it so it's again the same gray knit color super soft and it's yeah just a tiny little cardigan you can button it up and wear it as a shirt on its own 
you can you know wear the little crop top underneath it leave it unbuttoned or button just the top button or something I think it's so cute it's adorable for loungewear or you could even wear it out with some high-waisted jeans to do a little casual look I think the set is so cute I saw somebody buy it on TikTok and I was like I just have to have that I am obsessed with it so cute and again it's super soft super comfy and I love it. The cardigan was the only part of that that was on sale. That was on sale for $10 as opposed to $20 or something like that. And then the last place that I have stuff from is Kohl's. I didn't buy anything for myself here actually. These are gifts from my boyfriend. So Carson, if you're watching this video, I know you are. Stop because this is your gift. Turn it off. So I'm just getting him for Christmas like a whole comfy kind of outfit thing. I'm going to be doing an entire gift guide video so stay tuned for that if you want to know what gifts to buy people. But he wanted new Nike sweatpants so I got him these. They were 25% off for Black Friday which never really happens for Nike stuff so that was good. They're just the gray ones. I don't know they're just gray men's sweatpants. Um, they're called the straight standard fit straight leg regular length. I guess. And then I just got him a long sleeve shirt. He really likes these like soft long sleeve shirts. Again, just for lounging and being comfy. And he likes blue and wears navy blue all the time. So got him the navy blue color, of course. And this was also on sale. I don't remember how much off, but it was on sale. So that is going to be it for this week's video. That is everything I bought this Black Friday, Cyber Monday online kind of deal. It was definitely a little different this year, but still got the deals, got the sales, and I got the haul for you. So everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below. And yeah, so that's it for this week's video. If you guys enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below to let me know. Also be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye! She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her